Welcome to another edition of Mark's Inspiration. Glad you could join me here today. And it's a cloudy, but not too bad day today here in St. Louis. Hope it's good in your world today. Today's topic is going to be about persistence. We discussed this somewhat yesterday. Persistence and perseverance is all powerful. Persistence will come from your belief that you can do what you decided you're going to do. You won't persist if you don't believe it. Your faith in yourself, in your project, in your dream will be evidenced by your persistence in the face of adversity, which would stop most people and make them give up. So if you have persistence and you continue on, even when it looks like there's no way you can do it, and when other people tell you that you're crazy, then you will succeed. You will persevere, you will continue, you will press on even when all hope is gone. Hope is a beggar. Faith is all powerful. Okay, enough of that. Smash that like button and subscribe. Here we go. Seven Habits of Highly Persistent People. I found this on Fast Company. We're going to go through here and see what they have to say about persistence. <clears throat> Excuse me. Talent, genius, and education mean very little when persistence is lacking. Here's what true determination looks like. Education. I believe in education, not necessarily the type of education they give you in school. Although, learning to read, write, and uh, add and subtract is very useful. But nowadays, maybe not so much because, well, reading, yes, but you can use a calculator now, so you don't need to do that. But I learned a lot in school that really helped me. I learned how to type, so I was able to write books. I learned how to read and write and add and subtract. So those things have been very useful to me. The other stuff, maybe not so much. Okay, let's see what they have to say. In any discussion of attributes of successful people, persistence is always mentioned, often as the or one of the most important factors in success. Yes, it is. Major success seldom comes easily or without a great deal of effort. And you won't put out the effort if you don't believe you can do it. And you won't persist if you don't believe in yourself, in your dream, in your God, your higher power, divinity, help from the universe, whatever. Often the only difference between those who succeed and those who don't is the ability to keep going long after the rest have dropped out. When I used to box, amateur and professionally, I really felt like I had no talent. I believe the only talent I had was I worked hard and I pressed on and kept going even after I get, got the crap beat out of me so many times in the, in the gym. I would get knocked down at least once or twice a week. But I believed that I could be good and I became good. Eventually I didn't get knocked down once or twice a week. <laughs> so, but I persisted even though sometimes I would drive home and wonder if I was going to wake up the next day because I took such a beating. I remember one night driving home and I had this big white spot in front of my front of my eye here. <laughs> I had worked out with this heavyweight and the guy dropped me. I think he knocked me down. I don't remember. But man, I was afraid, but I believed that I could do it. And I did it. I became really good, a good fighter. So, but you have to persist even when it doesn't seem like that you will make it, or the evidence of your senses, what you can see, what you can hear, what you can feel, denies what you believe. You must deny the evidence of the senses. Okay. It's relatively easy to persist when things are going well and we see progress, but highly persistent people have found ways to keep going despite major setbacks 
and a lack of evidence that they are moving closer to their goals because they keep their eyes on the vision within themselves and not on the outside. The outside is just a reflection of what's going on inside of you. Read the histories of famous people and you will see many times they were scorned, humiliated, made fun of by other people because other people didn't have the vision that they had, but they kept going despite of what other people thought about them. It's none of your business what other people think of you, but it is your business what you think of them and what you think of yourself. That is the most important thing. Quit worrying about what other people think of you. It's not important in respects to your dream, your vision, your goals in life. Put that completely out of your mind. Here are some of the things that persistent people have in common that keeps them going long after most people give up. Number one, an all-consuming vision. As I said, you must keep your eyes on the vision within yourself until it becomes a reality in your world, until it manifests in front of your eyes, and it will if you hold on to it. Your imagination is the creative power in this universe. And you have one, just like me. You can use it. No one probably ever taught you how to use it, but you can. Use it, take action on intuitive guidance, and you too will be successful in whatever you decide to do. You can. You have the same abilities of those people you admire the ones you watch in sports or whatever you, whatever you admire, whatever people you look at and admire, you have that talent and ability within yourself. Did you not have it within yourself? You would not be able to see it in other people. Persistent people have a goal or vision in mind that motivates and drives them. They are often dreamers and visionaries who see their lives as having a higher purpose than simply earning a living. <clears throat> their vision is deeply ingrained and they focus on it constantly and with great emotion and energy. They often think of this vision first thing when they wake up and the last thing before they go to bed. Reaching this goal becomes the focal point of their life and they devote a major portion of their energies and time to reaching toward reaching it. The first thing when you wake up and the last thing before you go to bed. These are the most important times to see your life and see yourself as you desire to be. Somehow or another, this programs into your subconscious. Never go to sleep thinking about the problems and worries and disappointments, discouragements of the day. Think about your life and your world as you want it to be as you go off to sleep. And in a way unknown to you, this programs you for your next day to move toward the success, the desire, the dreams that you have. Very little you do throughout the day is done by choice or conscious decision, contrary to what you may believe. It's all done before you make take the action. Just like a split second, it's already been decided. You think you decide to take a certain action, but really you only have the ability to react throughout the day. And you have a choice in that, how you react to situations and what happens. It's something to remember. You might want to read up on that. I've studied it. It's really hard to understand, but I find it to be true. Most of your life is run by your subconscious. Although you think you're consciously running your life, you're actually not. That's a whole other video. Okay, number two, a burning desire. Entrepreneur and motivational speaker Jim Rohn once said, I like Jim Rohn, I think he passed on. If you really want to do something, you'll find a way. If you don't, you'll find an excuse. Jim Rohn also said, if you work harder on yourself than you do on your job, you'll never want for money. I think that's the verbatim quote. 
Persistent people want it bad, really bad, and they never look for an excuse or a way out. What keeps highly persistent people going is their powerful level of desire. Correct me if I'm wrong on the Jim Rohn quote. Repeat failures, dead ends, and periods when it seems like no progress is being made often come before any major breakthrough happens. Yes, a lot of times when you feel like all hope is gone, you're never going to make it, that's the time when you're about to have a breakthrough. So don't give up. Keep moving forward. No matter what your mind says or what your friends or your family or your significant other says, believe in your vision. Okay. Persistent people have the inner energy and intensity to keep them motivated and going through these tough times. Okay, number three, inner confidence. People who overcome the odds and achieve greatly are often described as marching to the beat of their own drummer because usually other people think they're a little crazy. They know that they know what they want and are seldom swayed by the opinion of the masses. Don't follow the herd. Follow your heart, your inner voice. <clears throat> Having a highly developed sense of who they are allows the highly persistent to continue on without being greatly affected by what others think of them or being understood or being appreciated by those around them. While that inner confidence gets challenged and shaken, it never gets destroyed and constantly acts as a source of courage and determination. You have got to believe in yourself, as I said. Don't listen to what other people say. Because when you have a seeming, a seemingly failure, a seeming failure, um, they're going to say, see, I told you. I told you you couldn't make it. They don't want you to make it. Because if you do, then they got to look at their own lives and ask themselves why they aren't stepping out. Why they aren't stepping off the shore of safety to reach the distant lands of glory and success. Because they're afraid. They are afraid, and they're allowing fear to control them. In my past, I have allowed fear to control me somewhat. As I said before, I was a boxer, a professional boxer. I was really good. I was as good as people who were, I worked out with people who had world titles, okay, world champions. I was as good as they were in the gym, in the ring. The only difference was they faced the fear better than I did. See, I was constantly in the gym working out, but I worked out too hard because I was afraid I would get in the ring and look like a fool. So many times they would go on to fight and I was hurt and couldn't fight. I would get injured before the fight. I worked out too much. Yes, I was persistent, determined, <clears throat> and I always had to put in one more round than the other guys. But it wasn't just one more round. For me, it was like five more rounds. So I run myself into the ground. Even when my coach would say, Mark, you don't need to come here every night. I thought I did. See, I didn't listen to him. He knew I didn't. So thus, I never achieved the greatness there that I wanted because of fear. I didn't recognize it as fear. Fear disguises itself in many different ways. And sometimes it's very hard to detect we think it's something else. We disguise it, but it really will destroy your dreams, your life, your goals, your mission. So learn to recognize fear for what it is. As I said, it manifests itself in various ways. To thine own self be true, and then to no one else can you be false. To be honest with yourself is one of the most challenging things that there is. Learn to be honest with yourself. That's all we have time for today. Thanks for joining me. I hope this has been of value to you. Share it with a friend. Smash that like button. Subscribe. And I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good day.